Welcome back again, and this is another look at some models. Now, this particular model we're going to look at, I was quite surprised, and I had to do a lot of double checking on the price of it because this model was seen online for eighty or a hundred pounds, and I managed to get it in the twenty pound range, which was surprising, especially when it's from this naughty. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's Japanese or Chinese company that was known for its tongue-in-cheek humour when making models and uh, there was, funny enough, there is a, a Zatanna model from the DC bombshell and somebody's asking for £90 for it even though you have to glue on the pieces most of yourself because of, like, it's broken half so just be careful Put your brain in front of your heart when going to buy these models. After all, the majority of them are just little bits of plastic which people are attending just to buy in order to sell a year later at really ridiculous prices. So just be careful out there. Um, so yeah, uh, this model that we're, we're, we're going to, to look at, I, I've actually... I didn't see too many Supergirl models out there, but uh, the one I did like, where it was based on a Batman and Superman, one where she first crash lands and she has a Superman cape draped around her. Um, but again, you had to paint it yourself. So this is one of the very few Supergirl models that is out there. Uh, so this is the box. It wasn't much assembly. All you had to do was take the girl out and put her on uh, the plastic stand. Now, Supergirl is known for either wearing uh, long trousers or short skirts, and it all depends on, you know, how you're going to look at it, if it's, you know, is it sexist or is it not, but girls I know from a young age to adult age loves wearing small skirts, it's a part of the of the girls makeup, it's their decision to, to wear this uh, uh, to wear whatever they want uh, so that this is the base uh, Supergirl base, it's just plastic and whatnot. now, what I was surprised I loved the way it looked it didn't look ridiculous the face features uh, for me showed strength it's quite a tall statue for, for what it is, again this you could have got this for buy this for eighty pound, mm. and so there's the base, and as you can see, you can probably see the red knickers that the girl was wearing. Um, I've actually put this on a high shelf, so when you look up to it, you actually see uh, the naughtiness of the actual um, model. So again, it's one of these models you have to be careful where you want it. Uh, where you want to put it so you don't offend anybody but it is quite a lovely model but again I wouldn't pay any more than uh, £30 for, for this um, so just please when you're going out there think with your brain not by your heart and I'll catch you next time